Hey everyone, Andrea here with Great Expectations Realty. Okay, so um, it is not Monday. It's actually Tuesday, but yesterday was a holiday and I didn't really do like any videos at all. So, sorry. <laughs> so we are still doing the, you know, what's up in Ocala. It's just gonna be Tuesday instead of Monday. I'll get my life together at some point. It's just not gonna be anytime soon. Um, I don't know if you guys see this like blue craziness behind me. I'm actually moving into an actual office. Like I have not actually had my own office since the entire time I've like owned the company. I know that sounds so weird, but I actually like share office space all over the place. But over in the Danilin office, um, the branch office, there's plenty of room. So I just kind of, um, took one. So... <laughs> But it is the walls in this particular portion of the office is um, basically the color of mud. I, I don't really know. I don't, seriously, it's like, like, is that not some craziness? So it's kind of mid construction. Um, so I figured I would just go ahead and put like um, a drop cloth, which is, you know, fine. But um, I think I picked the wrong color because it kind of blends with my shirt. Now I've got like a floating head scenario going on. And I'm rambling and you guys hate that. Most of you hate that. So we'll just go on. Anyway, so things to do in Ocala this week. There's so much going on. Kids are getting out of school. Everything is just letting up as far as family related activities out there. So <laughs> there's just so much. It was kind of hard to pick just a few things. Um, but one thing that I, <laughs> I thought was really cool and you guys can decide for yourselves. Um, there's an 80 skate night over at Skateaway South and that's on June 24th. So you can legit get dressed up in like full on 80s gear and go to the roller skating rink and it will be completely normal. <laughs> so, you know, if you want to get the socks that go up to the knees and yeah, the whole, you know, shorty shorts, even on the guys, I don't know that I would necessarily go that route, but you know, you could, it, it's, it's valid. Anyway. Um, so that is on June 24th. So I've got a ways to go yet, but I mean, you know, you got to have, you know, enough notice so that you can grab those old clothes out of the closet or go and find you some 80s gear from like Amazon or something, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Ocala Downtown Food Truck Market is Tuesday through Saturdays all month long, and it's really cool. They have all these different kinds of um, food trucks like parked over there. It's kind of like having a mobile restaurant just hanging out, but there's, they're like nice food trucks. It's not like, I don't know, you know, something where you're like, uh, do they wash their hands? Like, uh, no, it's actually really nice. Like some of them kind of look gourmet. I was like, wow, that's probably something, um, which is great because there's not a lot of lunchtime options in downtown. Okay. Like right on the square, there's a few, um, you know, you're not going to starve, <laughs> but probably gets a little old because again, there's only a few options. So if you're working or living near downtown, you, you're probably pretty excited to have the food trucks, especially since there's different food trucks each time. Anyway, um, art in bloom at the brick city center for the arts. That's on June 4th. So that's actually this week. Summer Sunset Cycling, that's hard to say. Summer Sunset Cycling and Happy Hour, June 4th. Do not drink and drive even on a bike, but they do have a happy hour, so it's kind of fun. Uh, Marion County's Largest Bike Night, that's at O'Callahan's Pub and Eatery, um, and that's on June 5th, and that's not cycling, that's a bike, bike, yeah, totally different thing. Two wheels, but totally different. Anyway, um, and a morning with the thoroughbreds at OBS, and that's on June 5th. That actually, if I was not already doing something on June 5th, I would really love to go and do that. But I am actually going to be doing a cleanup on Saturday morning over in Marion Oaks. Um, so going to be out there and just cleaning up and hoping to help. So there was a few complaints I saw that people were saying that Mary Noakes, you know, had some trash and debris and stuff flying around. So we're going to go and fix it. See? Easy. Don't like something? Change it. It's not exactly a rocket science if you have... Yeah, never mind. Anyway. 
For the kiddos, we have movies for $3 all summer long. It's like a summer kids film series, and that's over at the Marion Theater. It's June 2nd to June 30th. They have this every year, except for last year, obviously, because we were not doing movie theaters last year. But that is available this year, so progress. Then we've got the splash pads are open for the kids. We have splash pads all over, and it's just so fun. They can wear a bathing suit or shorts, whatever, and you hit a button and the splash pad has these huge fountains that shoot up out of the floor and they just run through them and get soaked. And quite frankly, I absolutely love going to them as well. Uh, so my daughter has like always been going to splash pads and um, always gets soaked to the skin. I normally try to just, you know, dabble in it or whatever, but honestly it's hot out and I just don't care at this point in my life. So you might see me running through this splash pad too with her. <laughs> but they've got one um, just downtown on the square. They've got one in Marion Oaks. They've, they're all over the place. So really cool to have free splash pads and a great way to cool off without actually going to the pool. Awesome. Um, oh, this was so cute. So there's something called Ties and Tiaras. And it's date night for fathers and daughters. And it's over at Ocala Marion Theater. And it's June 11th at 7 p.m. I forgot to look to see what they're playing. But, I mean, does it really matter? I thought it was just so sweet. So, if daddies want to take their daughters to date night and spend some quality time, just the two of them, go at it. That is perfect for it. So, daddy dresses up. And he has his tie and everything. And she gets to wear her dress and her jewelry and everything. And... They actually have a date night. So if you've ever been thinking about doing it or thinking it was a cute idea or whatever, they actually are going to have that there. And I don't know if the Marion Theater is going to be serving beer that night or not, but they normally do. So heads up on that. Dads, if you want to grab a beer, that might be your opportunity. Just saying. All right. So what about the World Equestrian Center? I did want to kind of talk about that just a little bit because they are finally finishing or close to finishing phase one. <laughs> There's like three phases. Phase one, it's got like the, the hotel, the five-star hotel and fine dining restaurants and all of that is opening up. It's got miles, not acres, miles of arenas and indoor arenas and outdoor arenas and restaurants and I don't you name it and it's got it um it's even got this you know little chapel if you want to you know go and get married there there's all this stuff there huge rv park and which the rv park has like a boar's head deli and a starbucks in it i mean this isn't like just some deli it is legit <laughs> So anyway, um, that is all in phase one. So it's kind of, we're kind of like, whoa, what's phase two going to bring? Um, it, it's just crazy. It is crazy how big and how beautiful this place really is. It is literally, it, it's basically Disney World for the horses, for those horse enthusiasts. And even if you're not a rider, you're not into horses or anything like that, it's still a cool place to go out there and you know, people watch and just check out the different um, entertainment they have there. It's just neat. Um, they have all disciplines of horseback riding championship shows. It's got $2 million in cash prizes on some of these. It's crazy. Um, there's a lot of restaurants. Like I said, they've got a Mexican cantina. They've got Ralph's Burger and Sandwich Shop. They've got Viola's and Dot's Italian Kitchen and Pizzeria. They've got the Yellow Pony. They've got Stirrups and it also has two sweet shops. There's um, Emma's Patisserie and Miss Tilly's Lollipops, uh, which I think Miss Tilly's is also the ice cream shop. So heads up on that one. Um, and if you want to spend the night, there are actually several options. You can stay at the amazing five-star hotel um, that's overlooking the main arena. Um, and then of course, like I said, there is RV parking as well. If you want to just bring your RV and just enjoy all of it. I would honestly say if you're going to bring an RV, I would go ahead and bring your bicycles as well, because that is about the only way you're going to see everything. It is just too big to just walk. It's crazy huge. So yeah, um, definitely would recommend that highly. Um, and it's as far as spa and shopping, they have that 
two. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, okay, something new with us, huge. I think it's huge, but I don't know if you guys will or not. If you would actually like to ask me questions that you don't necessarily want to put on the internet, um, you can actually go ahead and schedule virtual appointments. So even if you're not in the area, if you're from out of state, you can go ahead and schedule virtual appointments and you don't even have to ask me like what day or what time or whatever. It's actually in the Calendly app. Um, so just go to our website, which is greatexpectationsocala.com. Answer a few questions as to what exactly you're looking for. You will see my big mug shining at you over there as I ask you some of the questions to figure out exactly what you need or what you don't need and not waste your time. And then, um, yeah, it'll take you to the Calendly app and you can go ahead and schedule um, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever you want to do. And we will just discuss your needs and what your questions are and go from there. So anyway, I thought that was really great because then you don't have to ask me when I'm available. It just has direct link into my calendar. So you can just, you know, figure out what's more convenient for you and go for that. So I thought it was kind of cool. All right. Something else that I saw, I actually thought it was really cool. Um, just on the way to Dinellen, I mean, I pass it like all the time and didn't really think much of it, but probably for somebody out of our area, it would be really cool. But anyway, there's this huge sunflower farm. <laughs> it's on uh, 484 and 180th Avenue and it's called Cannon Farms and they have sunflower mazes and it's a beautiful place to take um, uh, photography and, you know, take pictures and stuff. Um, so, you know, you can walk through the maze and everything, but they're open seven days a week right now from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And of course you can purchase and pick flowers and you can, um, it's a watermelon farm as well. So if you want to buy some watermelons, it's a great place to do that. They've got zucchini and corn and I mean, it's a farm. So, so you can enjoy the corn maze and you can also do, you know, whatever other stuff that you want to do while you're there and it should be really fun and entertaining for you and the kids. So again, more stuff to do here in Ocala. Technically it's Dinellen, but you know, it's kind of in between really. So anyway, um, so talking about real estate right now, <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to expect after the holiday weekend. I was like, okay, it's gonna be like, people were working, people were doing stuff. I just don't know what they were up to. And of course that happened today, all the numbers came in. Um, we had 57 pending sales hit the MLS, 35 new listings hit the MLS. And honestly, the price range was actually lower. It was all around, not all, but a large portion of it was around 200 to 220. So that was actually really cool to see that. Um, 15 houses were back on the market. So either the the financing fell through or the house didn't pass inspection or who knows what happened but 15 houses came back on the market that's really crazy and then we had 17 expired 17 expired what on earth were you doing that you're i mean in this market your listing went expired okay seriously if you want to sell your house i'd be happy to help you <laughs> so i will be calling okay just I'll be calling you. Okay. So it's fine. But yeah, seven, that was a lot. That's a lot more than normal. That's in a normal, like, you know, I say normal, like, you know, a year, year and a half ago, that would be like, okay. On a normal day, that would be what we would have. But for now in this incredibly hot market, 17, that's a lot, even for the end of the month, which that's why it was like, they were set to end at the end of the month. So going in, but it hasn't been that high not lately. So anyway. All right. Well, I guess that's it for me. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and let me know. Um, like I said, you can get a hold of me on any time that's convenient for you. Just go ahead and go to our website, which is greatexpectationsocala.com. And, um, if you want to talk to one of our team members, you can do that. You can just go ahead and click our team and you will see all of our agents and what they do and who they are and a little bit of information about them as well. So don't want to, you know, just have all this ego and think you guys all want to talk to me because I know that's not necessarily the case. So if you want to talk to one of our agents, they are phenomenal 
and they would be more than happy to talk to you as well. So, all right. If you guys need anything, let us know. And otherwise I will see you guys later. Bye.